We all know school safety gets even more tension in our state after last year's tragic shooting at the Covenant School. One of the steps taken after the tragedy led to millions of dollars being spent on adding school resource officers at schools here in Tennessee. And Amelia Young just got an update for us on how the program's going so far. And uh, hiring and training SROs takes time. We know, Amelia, uh, how many counties are, are benefiting from this grant? Well, Ben, Amy, every single county in Tennessee, that is great news to know that they all took part in this. The grant actually allowed them to get that money up front so they could use it to find candidates, hire them, and train them. So some schools are actually still in the process of finding those candidates, but the majority of them have gotten an SRO in the schools. Now, we got an update from this program yesterday from Deputy Commissioner of Homeland Security Gregory Mays. He told lawmakers that of the $140 million in grants, 98 million has been dispersed since July 1st. That's when the state was awarded the money. More than 1,300 schools entered into an agreement to receive those funds, and of that, 94% now have an SRO assigned, which means 6% are still working on hiring and training some on those last few minute details. This law is helping to fill the gaps really in certain areas of security that were missing before, especially helping in more rural counties across the state that didn't previously have this budget. We feel like we've made tremendous progress with the SRO grant. Um, <clears throat> there are at least four counties in the state that I'm aware of that went from zero SROs to fully staffed, an SRO in every school. Um, we believe that SRO grant money is money well spent and it's benefiting the communities. There's still $41 million left in that grant money. We'll be sure to let you know if any big changes happen and how the rest of that is spent. Back to you.